Oh, girl, you don't have to be ashamed. The story we are going to introduce is not new to all of us, but it's a really interesting and amazing story. So, silence in the theatre. Please pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. It all starts in the underground coal metropolis. Here is where we used to live during our past life, when we were a multitude of carbon atoms. A long sleep lasted hundreds of millions of years. A never-ending quietness started in the depth of time. After this long sleep, Dioxy awakened due to a strange noise. A bunch of miners are using all sorts of machinery to extract the coal layer that has been her home since she was born. Soon afterwards, a whole bunch of the carbon atoms are transported with their entire home's coal pieces from the depths of the mountains at the end of Adventdalen to the power plant of Longyearbyen. There, our friends patiently wait their turn. The carbon atoms making up the coal we see all over Svalbard are shoveled into a large and very hot furnace. As the coal is burned, molecules just like dioxy are also created. During the combustion, the carbon atom links itself to two further oxygen atoms and a CO2 molecule is formed. Dioxy and our friends are now the fundamental components of a gas. Carbon dioxide, to be precise. And we already know all about that. This time, however, the gas does not escape into the atmosphere to contribute to the greenhouse effect. Instead, Dioxy and our friends are caught from the power plant's chimney and pushed in an exciting pipeline ride. Our journey is almost over, since we're all now injected into the ground. We tried to solve the problem by taking us from the source and after transport, we put in underground. CO2, capture and store it So the gas doesn't go in the air But goes to sleep into rocks, slacks and stones Where it will stay for a long, long time You know this isn't a solution But an interesting notion to fight against climate change We have to work all together with many other players